my gosh guys it has been so long since i have made a video that you guys probably thought that i might have died or that i might have just got lazy which i mean you'd be correct if you assumed that but my friend recently did a phone collection video and so that inspired me to make my own collection video as well I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below so you guys can watch his collection video if you want to. So first we're going to start off with the Samsung smartphones. I have a Galaxy Z Flip 3 that I got from an eBay seller for only around $90. And the only thing wrong with it is this little black spot right here but other than that it works perfectly fine I got a good deal on it next we have this Galaxy Note 9 I got this in a lot or I mean it wasn't really a lot it was just two phones but I got this on Mercari with a Note 8 that was a lot more destroyed than this thing and I got it for only a hundred around a hundred dollars so basically I got this perfectly working with some cosmetic damage as you can see note 9 for only fifty dollars here is a gold 32 gigabyte Galaxy S7 that I got from the target bin it is in pretty much mint condition other than that little blemish on the home button but yeah this is the best target bin find I've ever gotten here I have a Galaxy S5. I actually got this from my cousin. This was one of the very first phones in my collection. And my favorite thing about it is it was one of the first phones that has the IR sensor. So you can use it as a remote. I actually got this Galaxy S4 somewhat recently. I got it for my birthday from my grandma. Next we have this Galaxy S3 Mini. I got this from the, the Dingus Lucky Dunk Bag. And this is probably the best pool that I got out of that, to be honest. Next, we have this Galaxy J1. My friend's aunt pulled this out of a dumpster. That's why the sideboarders are missing. These cracks were actually not here before. The screen used to be in mint condition. But from this being in a backpack with a bunch of other phones, it got destroyed. It first just started with this little hairline crack going across, and then it spread from there. Next, we have this Galaxy J3 Eclipse. I got this from a local thrift store for... It was supposed to be $12.50. I'm not sure if it was an intentional discount, but I also got it for $7.50. Like, my friend got that Moto E6, so good deal on it either way. Next, I have this Galaxy J3 Emerge. I also got this from my cousin. And I don't know what happened to the back cover, but it used to have a sticker on here. This is supposed to be silver, but it looks like gold. Next, I got this Galaxy A12. It works perfectly fine, other than it's got cracks, and then it's got the little burn. And if you actually go to the camera... On a black screen, you can see there are lines in the screen. But other than that, it works fine. I got this from what well, I traded my demo unit S10e. This is one of the phones that I got in that trade. Next, we have this Samsung Galaxy Admire 4G. I got this from the dunk bag, and honestly, for how old this thing is, it has some pretty good refresh rate on the screen, and it feels nice to hold. Next, I have this Samsung Galaxy Stellar. The back cover snapped in like every place possible, so it won't go on now. And I did multiple ludicrous drop tests on this uh, with my friend. We were just having fun. And it didn't crack for many of it, so I changed my mind about drop testing it. Next, I have this little Samsung egg-looking phone. I forget what it's called. It's got a little slide-out keyboard. But this also is from the dunk bag. 
Next we have the LGs. I'm going to start with the phone that I probably like most out of the LGs and that is the LG G Flex. This was the first unique phone that I got in my collection in terms of a cool feature. And I got it for around $50, which was a pretty good deal back then. It's still okay now. Next we have, this phone has been with me for a very long time. This is an LG Rebel 4. Funny backstory on this. I bought it from a family dollar for $30, brand new. And I bought it without my parents' permission, so they made me give the money back to my grandma and let her keep it. Or she paid me to keep it, and then I eventually got to buy it back from her. This is basically the same thing. It's an LG Phoenix 4. It's on AT&T instead of track phones, so that's part of the reason why it has a different name. But uh, yeah, it's shattered, and I got this from the AT&T bin a while back. It's Google locked, and the method of bypassing, it's too updated for it to work, so this is probably going to be a smash. This is an LG Phoenix 5 that I recently got from a trade, the same trade as I got the A12. It was the S10e trade. And yeah, this thing fully works. It's just got cracks in the screen, and then it's got scratches on the back. But yeah, other than that, it works fine. Next, I have this LG Stylo 4. It's missing the pen, and other than that, it works perfectly fine. Next, I have this LG Tribute 5. We, Me and my friend got this on a Target bin run. It works perfectly fine. Next, I have this LG Lucid 4G. I pulled this out of the dunk bag. I think this is probably one of the cooler of the LG phones that I pulled out of the dunk bag. And it's got this really cool design on the back case. Now, if you guys have ever watched Plain Rock 124, then you know the significance of this phone. This was in one of his 50 Ways to Break videos. This is the LG Extrovert. I don't think it's charged right now. I haven't charged it in ages, but it works perfectly fine. Next, we have probably the worst LG touchscreen phone ever. It's called the LG Chocolate Touch. I have two of them. The purple one's definitely the better color of the two. But, yeah. And then we just have a couple of rinky-dink LG smartphones that I pulled out of the dunk bag. They're nothing too special. This one, I think both of these don't have a battery. This one I actually took the battery out because it was bulging and pushing the cover off. I think I might have recycled it a while back. And that one didn't come with a battery at all. Next we have iPhones. I don't have as many iPhones as my friend does. I still have a decent amount of iPhones. But first we have the iPhone SE 2020. This is my main phone which is probably a subject to change. It's gotten down to the recommended service health and very fast. It hasn't gone any lower than that, though, surprisingly. Next, we have these two iPhone 7s. This one used to have a working screen. This one doesn't have a screen. Uh, this one has a bad baseband, I believe, but it, I was unable to activate it. I was going to take the screen off and put it on here but I accidentally opened it the wrong way and I cracked the screen. So, I mean, because I clearly have anger issues, I smashed it on the ground and I mean, it doesn't have the screen on here anymore. Next, I have this iPhone 6S. I think I got it for around $50 on eBay, which was an okay deal. It's just a 32 gigabyte, but I use it as my music phone. Uh, this is an iPhone 6 that I bent for no reason, but I parted the thing out, so it's kind of a piece of junk because it won't power on fully. It just goes directly to a black screen. I don't have a use for it. So here we have two iPhone 5Ss. One of them is iCloud locked. I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one's iCloud locked. 
And this one I got from the AT&T bin, same run as I got the Phoenix 4. And this thing used to work perfectly fine. I accidentally ripped the Touch ID cable, but there was also a night that I had this out in the cold and the logic board just completely gave out for some reason. I thought it was the battery. And I actually checked, since I didn't have a bracket over the battery, the battery did disconnect, but it just goes into a continuous boot loop when I plug it in. So I have every color iPhone 5C. I actually got nine of them in a parts lot for $30 off of eBay. All of them are iCloud locked, and the only one that has a working screen anymore is this one. This one used to be in mint condition, but it's been in some backpacks with other phones and you can see it's got some scratches now it's not horrible this one is actually water damage there's rust on the inside as you can see the battery health i don't know how the battery still works but the battery health was 10 percent when i looked at it on an app that i had the only one that I didn't get from the lot was this one and I actually the this isn't the original one that I had the original one that I had I got from the target bin this one I actually got from my cousin he dropped it and broke the screen I offered to replace it with this one because this is iCloud locked and I knew I was never going to use that and the lamination on the border failed so I never got to transfer the screen because it wouldn't go all the way in and I didn't want to force it because I didn't want to break it so I just traded him the one that I got from the target bin since it worked perfectly fine next I have my very first iPhone my iPhone 4s this was a 64 gigabyte I got it for Christmas from my parents when I was in seventh grade, I think, and my friend bought me a custom back panel. It's mirror purple, it looks pretty cool. And then I got this iPhone 4, I think it's an eight gigabyte, which is the lowest capacity. And it came with the original box. It was a pretty good deal for what it was. My friend bought it for me for, I think it was either my birthday or Christmas. Then I got this iPhone 4 out of the Target bin. I'm not sure if it's charged right now, but I took... Oh, shoot, it is charged. But I took some replacement parts off my brother's iCloud locked iPhone 4, and I got this thing working again. It used to have a shattered back panel, and the battery really wouldn't hold a charge at all. But yeah, it fully works. And then finally, for the iPhones, we have this iPhone 3GS. 16 gigabyte uh, This thing it works perfectly fine But the battery is not the greatest when it's under 50% I expected any time for it to just have a seizure and die like it'll just go to where there's no backlight And then there's just some random lines in the screen, but if you charge it, it'll just turn right back on I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but yeah Okay, now we have a bunch of random brand phones not as many we have an HTC Desire 626. This thing I got from my friend in the S10 e trade. This is going to be a smash because it's iCloud or iCloud Google locked and there is no bypass for it. I mean, there is a bypass, but it doesn't work for this. Here I have three HTC Evo 3Ds. Two of them are on Sprint. One's on Virgin Mobile. The other four that my friend have from the lot, those are all just Sprint on 4.0. These two are on 2.3 Gingerbread. This one's on 4.0, but it's a Virgin Mobile. That's why I kept it. Here we have two ZTE Majesty Pros. I got this from my aunt and my uncle. This one's from my aunt. It's water damaged. It doesn't have the cover. Uh, I did that to the speaker. Ignore that. And yeah, the screen was cracked. This, the touch screen on this phone does not work at all. This one is, it's in pretty good condition. This was my uncle's. It still works. I don't know if it has a charge, but yeah. This is a ZTE blade that I got from my grandpa. It still works perfectly fine. He just upgraded. All right, next I have this Moto G Play 2021. 
it used to be my friend's. I forget where he got it from, but it has major LCD bleed. Other than that, it does work, though. And the battery is actually like 5,000 milliamp hours or something crazy like that, so it actually lasts a while. I believe this is the original Moto Droid. It's got mini HDMI, which is a pretty cool feature, and then it's got a little slide-out keyboard. But yeah. I got this AT&T Motivate 2. This was from a Target bin run with my friend. I have a OnePlus 7 Pro in Nebula Blue. It's 256 gigabytes. I use this as my gaming phone. My favorite feature is the pop-up camera. And moving on to dumb phones. I have a little lineup of AT&T phones. I got all of these from, well, not all of them, but most of them from the... Yeah, one of these is my mom's, but the rest I got from the bin. This was my mom's first phone when I existed, and it doesn't really work that well anymore. It kind of, like, crashes. The battery doesn't hold that well of a charge. Like, the volume buttons won't work when it gets low. This is a little Alcatel flip phone. I'm pretty sure... Uh, this is also another phone that my friend's aunt got out of the dumpster. We call it, we nicknamed this the five because the funniest thing that it says when you click on the five, I mean, it says all the numbers when you click on it. Some of them sounds like a, having a stroke, but the way it says five is funny to us. This is an Alcatel phone that I pulled out of the dunk bag. Uh, it has a fake camera on the back. I think it might be meant to be a button or something like that. It's also got this switch on the side for this flashlight on top, which is actually a really cool feature. Next, I have this Nokia flip phone. It's severely damaged. I don't have a charger for it, so whatever. I don't think this thing is charged anymore, but this was something that I got out of the dunk bag. It's one of those old mini brick phones. I like it. Uh, this is another Nokia phone. I actually got this one from my friend from a trade. I don't have a charger for it, so I don't know if it works. I got this from the dunk bag, which the charger ended up not working. I actually tested it with a working charger in a later video, and it does work. It's a slide-out phone. It slides the opposite way of a typical phone. And this LG flip phone, I think I got it from my uncle or something like that, but yeah. This one I got from my friend. It's got one of those proprietary chargers. We didn't know if it worked. It does work. Here we have a Sagem My 101X. Uh, I want to assume that it's a display phone because you can see it's got that little thing in the background. But it actually had a Jamaican SIM card in it. I don't know if I took it out. Yeah. I... Oh, wait. Yeah, I took it out. Next we have a Samsung Gusto 3. I got this from the dunk bag, as well as most of these other phones. I got this one from a trade. I don't remember the model of that one. This is a Samsung Galaxy Array. This is a slide-out keyboard phone. This one, it slides up like that. The color is really nice, and this one actually had a pocket version of Guitar Hero on it. And we played that in one of the dunk videos, the collaboration I did with my friend. Here I have two identical phones. This is a Samsung Freeform 3. And it makes a startup. I actually charged one up so I could show you. It really annoys my friend. Nah, it's not going to do it. Okay, so the other one's speaker didn't work. I'm going to try this one. Yeah, there you go. There's a little doggo on the screen. Finally, we have Palm Treo. I got this in a trade from my friend. Uh, it has, or did, have a stylus. And here we have a Palm Centro, or Sentry, I think is what it's called. This one still has its stylus. And then finally, we have my Motorola Razr collection. I got these four from a friend. 
and these two I got from the dunk bag. This one I got from my grandma. Also forgot to mention I'm recording on, I mean, I think you can see it there in the back. I'm recording on a Samsung Galaxy S10 Flamingo Pink. But yeah, there's the phone collection. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry I haven't been in to do a video in a long time, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.